I am so glad I got this donut in Grand Marais yesterday. Delicious. Welcome back to day two. Day two of around Lake Superior in eight days. I'm at Grand Portage State Park. I've never been to the state park before, which is right there. We'll check out in a moment. Canadian border is right there. I can see the building. There's a Minnesota sign here. So right on the Canadian border up here. Another unbelievably beautiful day today. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> Stopped at Ryden's. It's just a half mile up here to change some money. The casino says they do, unless you're a member and play there. Do you plan on playing, she asked. I said, no, I'll go up the road. So That'll be enough complaining. Mmm. Donuts, good. Check this. State Park, the most northeastern in Minnesota. Well, I'm headed to the uh, High Falls up here. Looks like it's a mile, 1.2 mile round trip. So, uh, getting my exercise in on uh, this trip. That's good. It's even paved for now. So. I think it is the largest waterfall in Minnesota. Someone will correct me. Still paved, which is better than some of the roads I was on yesterday, so I can't complain. Rained last night, and uh, not heavy, but it rained uh, about half the night. But uh, no water in the tent, so that's always a good thing. And just there's no there's no place to for me to cook anything. That was the only tough part. So gas station coffee and a donut this morning, and. I need to find a proper lunch today, that's for sure. See that right there in the distance? That is, I'm sure, the bridge going over to Canada off of Highway 61. Oh my gosh, what a day. That's Canada over there, and there's rails over there. And if I remember, there's a hiking path on the other side and on the Canadian side. This is the way to start out a Sunday morning. Oh. So this is just down from the falls, like this little path that came down here on the way back here and just... It's this beautiful river. Again, I'm looking at you, Canada, right there. This uh, trail is pretty easy, so if you're ever up here um, on an easy trail, this one is very easy. The Tedaguchi one yesterday was, uh, I put it maybe at medium. It wasn't difficult, but uh, the stairs were something else. But this one's not too bad. On a side note, and I don't have any uh, intel on any of this stuff at all, I would assume there's some cameras around here because, yeah, I, I would assume so. <laughs> Mind your P's and Q's. Well, it uh, turns out I forgot my passport, 
but I did bring this along. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this up in the dash and see if I can still get into Canada. Wish me luck. All right, just past the uh, US Customs here on this side, what I saw earlier, not the Canadian. I'm Pigeon River, uh, I think it's called. We're about to get into Canada right now, over this bridge. See you in a few minutes. All right, beautiful Ontario. Oh, I'm going right to the visitor center. So I did have to get out and show them my bear spray, actually show it to them. Uh, and it was all good. They just asked if I ever had to use it. <laughs> so that was it. Um, and I, I had my passport. Yeah, I'm not fooling anybody. And they weren't Rush fans either. Well, the visitor center's closed, so I'm all by myself. I don't know how I'm gonna find a Tim Hortons now. Oh, 90 miles, uh, kilometers again. Never gets old. 90 equals 55. Okay, Thunder Bay. At least around Thunder Bay, and uh, I think I lost an hour. I think I passed the time zone here too. And I think. I think there'd be a sign. Dig off, hey! Why are you passing me? <laughs> what was your? There's the Thunder Bay Airport. So I bypassed uh, Thunder Bay. I kind of need to put some miles on today and, you know, yeah. But I'm at the uh, Terry Fox Memorial here, uh, who, young man lost his leg to cancer and I think he, Went across Canada, I believe, like 5,000 miles or kilometers, whatever it is, but um, amazing. All I'm doing is driving in a car. Fantastic. Um, you can see out here, hopefully, I think I'm zoomed in enough, um, a lot of ships out here on the lake. They're calling them Lakers, I just learned today, by do two different people listening to them, so. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ships out there. There, now I'm zoomed in, so you can probably see them a little bit better. I don't know if it's that one, or I think that one. I think, is that Sleeping Giant? One, one of these is called Sleeping Giant because it looks like a giant sleeping, laying down sleeping. I'm gonna guess it's this one. So this is a very beautiful place. Uh, and they also have an information center that was open. And I got some great information. It's still about two, over two hours to where I'm gonna camp tonight. So gotta keep moving. I think my next stop is Nipigan, 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 uh, <laughs> Canada. Uh, even she said I, I gotta try the Tim Hortons coffee, so it's, it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen on this trip. Bunch of road construction here, uh, but beautiful land, even though I'm pulled away kind of from Lake Superior and probably will be for a bit here. Also, I'm the only person in Canada in this area going the speed limit as every single car is passing. It's okay. Don't want to break any laws.
Ipigan, Canada. Time to eat Ducky's Diner at Nipigan. This was recommended to me by the lady uh, at the uh, information booth. We'll see. All right, I uh, recommend the chicken sandwich. I do not recommend the men's restroom in there. <laughs> but it was, the, the chicken was amazing, yeah. Before I head on down the road and out of uh, Nipigon, got this observation tower to check out here. Before we head over there, suspe looks like a suspension bridge over there. Lots and lots of stairs. I just feel, oh my gosh. It's just straight down from here. There's nothing holding this up except for back here. Okay. Just to make you more queasy, they did uh, glass. Okay. So Lake Superior, obviously that way. Um, we're a few miles, uh, kilometers that way. Basically, we're at the most northern point of Lake Superior at this point. We'll be heading across that bridge momentarily. Just a beautiful landscape up here. I think that's like Nipigon back there. Ooh, there's a road that runs across it on the other side, it looks like. Nice. River. This is a cool bridge. Nice. These hills are just vast here. I don't know if you call them a mountain, maybe, but huge. Gorgeous, the rocks coming down, and the train in, in general is just beautiful wilderness around here. So this was the campground I originally was going to stay at tonight, but uh, the sites, the pictures were, seemed like the sites that were available were right by each other. And I'm going to go buy them real quick to make myself feel good. Actually, that was the only site available right there, right next to the toilet. Uh, on Lake Superior, but... Uh, I'm on a dead end. Okay. Turn around. 
you don't want to drive into the lake. All right, Rainbow Falls White Sand Lake Campground, my destination tonight. Let's go find my camp site. All right, site 66. And uh, I don't have a Lake Superior site, but I do have a lakeside right down there. Down these trees, kind of see a lake down there. Huge site. Right now, nobody over here. We'll see if I get any. It's only a spot for one other neighbor, so that's kind of why I chose it. There's like an open picnic area or something over there. And uh, just this, so. Um, Hopefully it's just me and no bears or anything. Good setup. And I will say, um, and this might just be because maybe I hit the right time on the right day, but look look how pristine it is around here. Yeah, there's a piece of trash there and there, but they raked up the area. Pretty clean. Tent is easily set up. Um, I had to take, uh, my Jackery is getting low on power so it won't pump up my air mattress. So I brought it down to the uh, bathrooms, which are pretty nice here. Um, it's a little bit of a walk, a couple few blocks and then brought it back. So that's all set. Tonight I'm doing something super simple. I haven't done in a long time. The adventure meals. Um, and while I got this going, there's no breeze here today, but after my little debacle up in the northwest angle where I couldn't get, uh, the wind was just destroying this thing and I couldn't cook. How about this guy? Oh yeah, just set this down somewhere. Hey, give me a second. I'm sure this will be an edit. So look at that. You can kind of wrap around it and, uh, keeps it the wind. If it was windy, it may not ever be windy again because I bought this. But it was only $8, I think, for this. So, nice little pickup. I can just keep it in the bag with the uh, propane burner. I like that. Oh, because I'm a moron, I uh, put that. That's not my mess. That's somebody else's mess. I hope it's not like bacon grease or something. But I set my bag on the side here and it's built. And, uh, yeah. Went to the ground here, and nothing says uh, I love you, Bear, more than beef stroganoff. So, luckily, they have these uh, handy dandy shovels at the end of the campsites here to clean up stuff, mostly for fires, probably. But uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and just scrape this and put it in a bag to throw away. Besides, I look cool with a shovel. Canadian bunny. Hey, buddy. Oh, there he goes. I will say it's amazingly quiet where I'm at. Except for the crows, always the crows. My camp site is just like right up in those trees up in there, looking out on this lake here. This is just so beautiful. There's some people hiking over there. But other than that, it's just, it's so desolate up here. And I will say, like from Thunder Bay to here, <clears throat> like there's very few restaurants, grocery stores, bars. Yeah. And, but it's beautiful land. I mean, you're not even by Superior a lot on this drive today, but amazingly beautiful. 
everybody uh, raves about the North Shore, and the North Shore is fantastic, but I really like the drive today. It's like, uh, let me check. Seven thirty here, six thirty back home. So I don't know what time the sun's gonna go down. I think I got maybe an hour, so I'm gonna probably head back up and get a fire going before dark. tonight so uh it's nice nice change from the last two nights where i was pretty much on top of other people got a nice fire going tonight there's a couple more pieces to throw on there then we're gonna call it a day very quiet campground i love it I'll try to get to the actual shore of Superior tomorrow. Get more to, into uh, Lake Superior tomorrow. It's a long, felt like a long day of driving and maybe that's what all this is, is just a long drive, but you can't check out everything. And I think you could uh, do this like 10 times and have a different experience every time. That's what I'm kind of seeing today. I'm only on my second day, so. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow I'm heading, I don't know, I don't have a campsite for the next four nights uh, charted. So here on out, I just kind of go night by night and kind of see what I find. It can be good, that can be bad. Let's hope it's good. Thanks again for watching. Just so peaceful.